Yeah, we're the grubs. Grubs, grubs, grubs. Kick them over, we'll hit the pubs. Grubs, grubs, grubs. And don't forget your subs. Hello and welcome to the Grub Show Sports Bets Cricket Podcast. Big show today, Hummetheticals, Yes No Weight returns. And to help me do it all, Hummer and uh, back off the long run Rambo. Welcome back. The G'day. original lineup is back. We're back, baby. The cordon has returned. Yeah, we have. Uh, how was the week off, Rambo? Yeah, look, um, I've done Put the feet up. Or? I've done pretty well to get myself back into the cordon here. Yeah. Tommy Morris um, did well. Was flying, wasn't he? Yeah. he? He's really good. He gave me a couple of drive-bys in there as well. He wasn't too shy <laughs> in front of the camera. Of course, he knows uh, that very well. Yeah, he shoots from the hip, doesn't he, Tommy? Not everyone, not everyone's cup of tea sometimes, but uh, yeah, you just got to wear it no, sometimes. I, when I was in the chariot driving here today, I, I was thinking, I, I, do, do you reckon the listeners enjoyed some genuine cricket analysis? I think so. I think they did. Yes. Right, unfortunately, we have none. We're back to none. And it's all dry. <laughs> yeah. But, but normal uh, it was a nice change-up. It was a nice change-up. I'd think- be interested to see if there was any feedback in regards to the amount of cricket talk. I quite personally enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of Brad Hodge about Tommy Morris, I think. Yeah. Just he's come in and he's just smacked a double ton yeah. in terms of grub quality of content. But, you know, guess what? Where is he now? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's gone. It's been I mean, he's out of the same again. Other podcasts and, and so, television shows. Absolutely. No, he'll go. be back. He was, he was a great addition, and I think uh, the, the numbers would suggest that the, the punters did enjoy it. I think it might be the highest we've been on Spotify this year and uh, all that sort of thing. So uh, thank you, Tommy, for your time, and uh, look forward to having Jeez, you back. Flanners is a fair way down the list now, isn't he? Well, more on Flanners later. Uh, we'll, we'll get to Flanners. We'll get to Flanners. He continues to uh, poke his head up in interesting places, doesn't he? He, he certainly does. Uh, big week in cricket since we've left, obviously. Uh, some obviously some pretty big news, Rambo. <laughs> yes. Broke in the past I, week. I think I've been charged with the, the direct notice to you two in particular. Um, you know, I don't want to have to dump the mics. But uh, the club gave me explicit instructions to make sure that uh, anything we talk about in regards to a former... Uh, captain, yeah. Um, will be. Uh, you can talk about Tim Payne all you want. I'm talking. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Just not what, last <laughs> week. <laughs> That's the second biggest skipper it resignation. Is, the show is having a, a bit of an issue with uh, captains at the moment. Yeah, um, something's rotten in Australian. By cricket, the likes we've never seen. Does yeah. this dilute the talent pool for us? Because now that Australia's looking for a mm. skipper, we're looking for a skipper. Yeah. I mean, I know who I would choose, but yeah. perhaps if we go after the same guy that Australia goes after. Two, yeah. Well, the pool isn't as deep as, as you hope. Is that what you're suggesting, Hum? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, now you've just got – I mean, we're, we're essentially in, in competition with the national team for a skipper. It is two yeah. big cricketing silverbacks just going hard at it to find out uh, a skipper first, first and foremost. So, mm. yeah. Well, that, that's your first warning anyway. Yeah, ab- um, absolutely. But uh, Let's just make sure we uh, just, yep. just talk the cricket. Elements Absolutely. Of that particular well, story. Well, one thing that, that did happen was the delay and, and a bit of an amendment to the PS5 cricket game cover. Oh, that's um, right. <laughs> they, they, they had to change yeah. at pace and they've had to delay getting the game out. And uh, there was a bit of a rumour circulating for a little while that this was actually going to be the cover. Um, there it is, there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> So I saw that pop up on uh, the sports bet yeah. Instagrams. Yeah, for those listening, it's uh, it's got the grubs featured there on, on the cover. Uh, uh, does it have the grubs? If it's got two of the grubs, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's got two. What we couldn't fit three or four. <laughs> in that, I think in, in, the, in the in the meme game, uh, Rich, as you would know, we've got a very talented meme. Gang, yeah, sports, yeah. but it, it was a like for like. So yeah, you like yeah. to match the number of yeah. <laughs> There's two Australian representatives on the front have been replaced by two guys. We had obviously nothing to do with that. And, yeah. you know, but, but, it's quite embarrassing. Yeah. That's uh, but they weren't able to roll with that because as this commenter very hastily uh, pointed out, Mark Forrester, just another cover to be pulled in a week's time due to behaviour that does not meet the standards <laughs> of the wider community. So that one's well back said, in the bin. Mark, we should uh, uh, get Mark a shirt or a- something. Absolutely, but it was, uh, it was Pat Cummins. So a bit of a spoiler alert, mm. maybe there oh. about who might be um, the skipper on the game. Have we got time? To, uh, yeah, I mean, we've all played the cricket games <laughs> over the time. The, these since they've gone from EA cricket, they're just all exactly. Does anything change year to year out of these mm. ones? The cover, and then the cover. <laughs> that's it. Frequently, yeah. Um, the commentators, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's true. There was Mark Nicholas as Ashes. I mean, they just rebranded him obviously to what the series yeah. is. Yeah, not not this year. It was Ashes twenty nineteen? I think they had a specific game in this one. Yeah, this this, is, you've actually ruined one of my yes no weddings here, Hummer. Oh, that's all right. I? We could we can talk about it maybe. Yeah. In there, or we can just talk about now. Well, why don't we? Why don't we get into them, Rambo? You, you, I think you got a little, uh, little sting, or maybe an audio. Sting. Yeah, well, I mean, now it's time for. Yes. No. We're ding. <laughs> very crisp. <laughs> just made that, that one. Last voice. That was Rambo. Just to be very <laughs> was clear. It? That was just, me. That was me. Hundred <laughs> percent. 
Yeah. Uh, just a little something for the audio listeners. I think you've, you know. Yeah, that's good because a, a lot of the show the... caters towards those watching on yeah. KO. If you like Stings, caters. make sure you tune in on KO. <laughs> if you just want to listen, um, you can still do that uh, as well. But this is a return, Rambo, of an old favourite segment. Absolutely. Um, here, Yes, No Waiting. And good to have it back. Over yep. to you. As effectively, uh, I want to hear your two fine gents' opinion on these issues that are doing the rounds of world cricket. And the first one that we want to talk about, give me a yes, no waiting on Pat Cummins being the next Australian captain. No. No. Oh, firm yeah. no's. Yeah, wait Absolutely there. no run there. Yeah, I'll show my working here. Now, I know, you know, you can't really uh, – it's a bit unfair to fast bowlers to say fast bowler can't be the skipper. But – and he's been pretty good with injuries and touch wood for a long time. But remember earlier in his yeah. career – he kept breaking down. It doesn't take much for a fast bowler to break down. What do you then do if he's got to go off halfway through a game or one game into a series? You're back to square one. You've got to do this again. It's a distraction again. I think Pat Cummins is a great leader, um, but I wonder whether you're better off just, you know, implanting him as the vice captain, letting him lead. I heard he was very vocal and really good in the T20 World Cup, but leave the tactics to a batter. He doesn't have to worry about bowling or, or you know, staying out on the field. That's yeah, my I, thoughts. I, 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 Almost identical. And correct me if I'm wrong, you pace, your bowling side or your bowlers, they spend quite a bit of time off the field as well during the fielding yep. process, whereas, you know, you, we, you'd like your skipper on there 99% of the time. Which yep. is, so yeah, I, I think it's just too risky. The the, the risk of injury uh, for, for these for these pace bowlers is too much to he, I mean, he is out. much more durable than he used to be. We should yeah. say that. I yes. think um, in his early days he struggled with some injuries, but he was just, he was young and raw and um, bowling very, very quick. Yeah. I don't think he's struggled with injury again um, for a while. <laughs> and by the same token, Steve Smith, if he was captain, the Ashes got knocked out by yep. Joffre Archer. Like these things happen True. in the game now. So I don't know if you could purely do it on the on the on the injury element yeah. or how much time is spent on field. Mm-hmm. I think I'm with you with the no. I just don't see the tactical elements there. And then I get a, a few people talking about, well, you know. He'll be captain by, you know, pure name, but then there's others out there that can lead the team with tactics and that doesn't work. Doesn't matter what level of cricket you play. Yeah. Is, is cricket's the type of sport you need your captain to be making firm yeah. decision, everyone falls in line. Probably I think Tim Payne was very uh, good at that. Probably an area yeah. we've lacked at the grubs over the extended yes. period. Uh, no, we have n- n- none of those. I think <laughs> what, no. white anting is a term that uh, is commonly thrown around the yeah. club. Do, pace, do bowlers look at the game differently than, than batsmen would as well? In terms of you, you speak of the, the tactics and stuff that they pick up, do, you know, do they maybe look at the game completely different? I mean, if, I mean, if you just look at the, the, the pool of captains in the history of cricket, there's not many pace bowlers yeah. ever. Yeah. So is that what is you know is that part of it? Like a lot on their plate. You, six balls. You, you got a, a lot of mental energy is going into that, isn't it? You kind of need your little break at fine leg to recalibrate, have a bit yeah. of time off, all that sort of stuff. And that's generally how they train them now as well. That's it. You know, you want to get the best out of them in spells and overs and bowling in partnerships. While a, a, a captain is a batter, could might be think from another perspective, it's like how. What delivery do I not want at this stage, or how am yeah. I going to get this person yeah, out? You're trying to think like a batter. Yeah. You can't. Th- yeah, that's right. And you have the awkwardness of going, well, how long do I bowl myself for, and do I take the new rock and whatnot? Yeah, just the batsman. Again, another issue we experienced frequently at the grubs <laughs> the previous years. We did. Uh, I mean, uh, do we want to quickly talk about if it's not Pat Cummins, who is it? Yeah, well, good. It's a good point. Um, it, it's got to come from left field. I don't think you can go back to Smith or Warner. They're out. I, mm-hmm. I don't think you can possibly, like, particularly given what's happened now. We need a, a, a clean skin. Um, I wonder whether, and this relies on him getting a start, is Usman Khawaja, yep. captain of Queensland, um, much maligned. I don't think J.O. <laughs> is a big fan of him. Yep. But um, I don't know. What Who, a crazy set of circumstances that it could be Uzi yeah. or maybe a Travis Head yeah. who's also captain of South Australia. And we don't know if any of them yeah. are playing. And they're com- basically competing for the one spot in the middle order. Oh. Yeah. Um, look, you ma- it's that whole you make your bed, you got to line it. Yeah. Cricket Australia. So if it's not Pat Cummins, um, you probably got to go with a bit more of a riskier choice. Yeah. See, why can't it be Steve Smith? I would love to have him back. He's done his time. You reckon? You reckon you get him back? Uh, I think he'd, I, I, he's he would, he's such a student of the game and how much he follows it and loves it. I don't think he will have lost an ounce of his of his skipper now. Yeah. You've, I don't think that's in question. As a man of the people, hum, and you often do give a fantastic yep. representation of this on 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 this show and, and many other walks of life. Yeah. I reckon you might be a little bit out of touch here. I, I feel like really? the the litmus test out there is that they're all off Steve Smith being a captain. He can come back into the team, no worries. Yeah. Obviously, he's averaging you know sixty plus. Yeah. But as a captain, I don't think you, you, every man and woman on the street will be quite no, too that's happy probably about fair. that. And what's what's the issue at play here at the moment? It's it's a PR brand yeah, play big true. time at the moment. Yeah. How can you now that there's been another issue go back to the, where the yeah. initial one came from? And we say this, 
Oh, if Shaver Cricket won. is owned by the fans. It's yeah. not owned by particular boards and whatnot. Absolutely. Fans own it. Have you say. Uh, probably move on to another Moving one. Moving on, yeah. yeah. Next, uh, <laughs> Jesus, yes, probably so talking ready. more cricket than the Tommy yeah. Morris episode. Yeah. <laughs> Take a seat, Tommy. Here we go. England to win uh, over 0.5 tests. So England to win at least one test match. Yes, yes no waiting. No. Waiting. Waiting, okay. Go on. Show you working. Are you going to wait until... Well, yeah, <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I just not bullish enough to say that we won't cough up a test, especially if we've won, you know, mm. if we've won it. Uh, I, I, you know, a big part of me doesn't think they can win a test, but mm. I'm not bullish enough to completely say no. Okay. Yeah. That's I'm going to say yes. Do you say they can? Yep. I think uh, the last time Australia played in Australia, they lost to a second or yeah. third string India, including yep. losses on Boxing Day and at the Gabba. Mm. Yep. And they haven't Can't played a test match since. Yep. And England has played uh, a few, I think 10 or 11 tests in that time. Not, Albeit not at a, an amazing standard, but yep. they went with India for a little while yep. there. Uh, they come in, they're, no, they're not that much worse than Australia. No. And I, the conditions mm. aren't that foreign. Jimmy Anderson, Stuart Broad... Root, you know, they've all played best. They've all played in here many, many times. I reckon they win one. It might be Adelaide when the conditions suit their bowlers a little bit better. Chris yeah, Wokes and Jimmy Anderson. Ball. That's but pretty well The explained. fiery rangers coming out, isn't he? Yes. Uh, both? Yeah, both fiery rangers. Yeah. Well, I mean, this, all it takes is one innings where he just hangs around. Like, I mean, like he... Like yeah, 100%. Uh, He's yeah. a match winner. And then we're, you know, we're toast. That, well, that's a beautiful... Uh, moment in this segment. I think this might be the first time everyone's had a different uh, response. So, oh, well you. done, boys. That's yeah. why we like yes, no waiting. Yep. Um, next one is Tim Payne dropped for the Gabba. Yes, no wait. Uh, no longer the captain, of course, but still available for selection. Um, I'm going to go no. I'll say uh, no. So I'm a no as play? well. I think you should play. Yeah, I think Same. you'll play. Yep. Yep. Agreed. I think that's just, that's going to hurt the 11. Yep. Yeah. Pulling him out. Yep. Agreed. All of a sudden, you, if, imagine if you don't even win or you draw at the Gabba, just more questions and answers and you go into a boxing uh, Adelaide test under lights with a bit of confusion. What is the most likely scenario, it's just it's hypothetically speaking, mm. if he's not playing, is it Wade comes in to, well, to Ke- or is Kerry coming in? I think Kerry or Inglis will be next. Yeah. I uh, wonder whether um, – I know up. JL – Loves Carey. Mm, from yeah. remember when he got hit in the head in the World Cup, and he yeah. showed that ticker, and there's a big thing in the doco. Yeah, um, but he hasn't banged down the door for me in terms of runs no. and whatever. I think they got to go with Payne, but that's going to be an interesting one. I don't really have an answer on that. In terms of cricket toughness, that was one of the weirder ones I've ever seen. He the ball literally bounced in front of his face and hit him in the mouth, didn't it? While yeah. he was wicket keeping. I mean, that's just a. Every Saturday yeah. with our mob. So. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still on team selections, we'll go quickly. James Pattinson retiring from tests. Yes, no, wait. No. No. Horrendous I, call. In fact, I mean, you've just stolen my thunder, so you've returned, but that was going to be my <laughs> um, one of those credit fine things. No, you can yeah. keep it. Keep it. Well, I will keep yeah. it, but it, I, I don't understand it. I, I, if Has he been encouraged? Mm. Have they said, mate, you're not, you're not going to play again, just we'll let you announce your retirement? Or... Hit, does he can he help you stuff traveling? Some anymore? rumors circulating that he may not align with the culture. Ah. And, having to, and also having to put up with another stint of like, you're not going to play every game. You're probably going to have to sit around yeah. in a hotel for a couple of weeks. He's right in the frame. If he hasn't retired. If he said, I want to play, they'd have to just throw him in, wouldn't they? Well, Mitchell Stark's obviously his head's on the chopping block at Good, the moment. Good, get rid of Stark. Um, not everyone's favorite. Here we go. It's <laughs> moving to <laughs> something. <goes> whack. <laughs> a little bit more. Off the uh, long run coming up later. Jocular. Uh, now, this is a little bit of investi- investigative reporting from yourself here, Hum. Yes, oh. no weights on the blonde, blonde summer lagers that the Aussies were drinking in the rooms after they yep. won the World Cup final. Yes. Now, it took us a while to figure did, out what did. they we were, were drinking. On, we, you and I were on Slack and then we went to Twitter to try and work <laughs> it out because we were petrified yep. at one stage that because they were drinking a blue and yellow can and it mm. did look like there was a sunset on it. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, it, it, it did have it had it a is. beach. It looked very seltzery. It looked so like a seltzer. Thank God. Yep. It, it's called a Bira Blonde, a summer lager. Yes. Now. Yes, no, wait. No, abs, no. no. I mean, it, firstly, how is there not an Australian beer company mm. that is not just saying, you know, at the start of every series or whatever, you know, here's, you know, they don't even have to be sponsors, but just drink this after <laughs> the game. So we're not seeing you walk around with some craft. Couldn't agree more. Uh, it's like, oh, it, it's it, is, so it, is, it still remains, in my opinion, one of the easiest hijacking uh, options in, you know, the alcohol world. Yeah. You just dump a case of your product outside the Aussie rooms. If they win, 
They, no manager in the world is going to stop yeah, that beer from correct. entering the rooms. Well, I think there was a, a show on the Ashes not long uh, a few years ago. Yeah. Peroni set Peron- themselves in there. Yeah. Here's George Bailey, front and centre of the camera as T- Tubby Taylor tries to get some quick grabs, just ripping the top off of eight of them, just going bang, back now, Chief Selected, George Bailey, which we like to see, <laughs> ripping the top of them, just handing them around. <laughs> uh, brilliant. I always That always stuck in my memory is well played, Peroni, tip of the cap. Yeah. But, but it's a no to the yeah, uh, summer. Well, who's to say Bira didn't do exactly that and go, here you go. Get well, the- good on him. I mean, we don't... We, we we have even we can't even work out where this beer is. And yep. as you said, you, do you want to send us some to sample? Maybe that, the, I would have felt that they had one one rep in the Middle East. Yeah, for well, that brand I mean, that you got one job, not, mate. Not known, not known for their alcoholic beverages, the Middle East. <laughs> so I don't know how co- uh, the, the quality of that beer would be. But I mean, just imagine coming in after a hard day's cricket and then sucking on some soft, fruity <laughs> summer ale. <laughs> It's offensive. It doesn't quite work. It's offe- you've offended, yeah. Hum. I think oh, we should move on to another one. Yes, no, wait. Now. Um, now this, <laughs> speaking of sponsorship deals, oh. um, a yes, no, wait to the grubs being sponsored by Arnott's. Now, oh. You can see that. Oh there is your limited edition day. Wow. grubs barbecue shapes. Now, this is a call out to Arnott's. We've had a try um, with Cotties. Yes. We've had a go with Grey Nichols. Jeez, we got close. Um, which is a waiting. Yeah, that is here. a waiting. But well, Arnott, <laughs> please, we're putting the call out. We're coming to you direct. Yep. We want to be in bed with you. Well, we want to get a bit of shapes action. Aren't they already? Well, I've just kind of done that it's on my own. Oh, oh, this is what it could look like. Free plug. I get you it can now. just go and jump on the web and get your own personal shape. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we want to take the relationship one step further. So yeah. I assume this is a yes all round here. Yes. Yes. This is almost save your legs. Yes. That's the of the boundary. Next question. Can we eat them? Uh, I've got eight, so you can have one. Oh, thank you. We'll uh, rip them to him in the break. Drive home sorted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last yes, no, wait. Yep. BBL, Ashes, Games, matches in Perth. Yes, no, wait. Have but it all, in that's, Perth. all the malarkey that's going on with quarantine yeah, and borders and take moving it, around. Take everything away from him. Yeah. Take Actually, everything speak away from Obviously, it comes at the expense of Hobart having a test match as well. Yeah, which I'm fine with. Give them a, give them a test. They've, they've lost one. The Afghanistan test got taken yeah. away. Give them one. And, you know, so it's a no to Perth. Yeah, yeah I'm happy to say. Don't, don't give them anything. You can't have it both ways, Hum. You can't want to be on your own and not let anyone in. Yeah, but yet, yeah, no, no, the rules change when yeah. we have sport. No, Sorry, stuff. it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. I'm happy with that. Anyway, that was... That was good. Why not have the audio... <laughs> That's, That's great. Be told we can't do it. That was just no way. Uh, Good return. The, the great return of that yeah. segment. Um, let's just keep it rolling with the great segments. Stop. Let's talk. Yeah, this one was queued up. I mean, tied in my ears, so we had to go to that one next. Out. So uh, fines this week. So. Uh, we love the fines here. Essentially, we're just pulling people up around the cricket world. That might be on the international stage, the domestic stage, or in our own backyard at the Grubs as well. Rambo, you can have the new ball today. Who would you like to find? Back on me. Yeah, look, I'm a little bit <laughs> – I don't know what quite to say here. I don't think we can play the video. Yep. But if you have a look at Manus Labuschagne's Instagram recently, there's a video in there where he does a – what's in my kit bag? First things first, no one really cares anymore. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. When Mike Hussey did it, Mr. Cricket, and he was like, oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind what Huss does. You know, he's yeah. a bit of a, you know, pedantic type, whatever. It's funny. It's got a bit of novelty to it. Yep. Manus is just a straight up weirdo. So he's just got <laughs> gloves and whatever. The one thing that ticks me over here is he, he says something to the terms of, here's something you might not know about me. Straight away, I'm like, well, this will be interesting. <laughs> he pulls out a little scalpel set out of his side packet of his, of his kit bag. It's got a little scalpel there so he can cut any tape uh, yes. Or stickers to yep. keep his bat neat and tidy. Yeah, cool. Didn't think that was really worth sharing. And then he's got a set of <laughs> calipers, I think they're called. Yeah, that's what he said. Now, yeah. You're a man, you know, loves it. Yeah. Any loves man his with camping. their soul has got a pair of calipers. <laughs> <laughs> and he uses for? that to just measure the width of his bat, measures the handles. He's very particular, obviously. This is coming to no surprise to anyone about Marnus no. Shane. But that level of detail and the kicker was. The video goes for six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to have a chat with Jack Wood from our paid social team. He'd have an absolute fit if we well, pitched him a six-minute video. Isn't the whole segment just a farce? Like, I mean, it's not like it's, hey, what's in my safe or like some – or my treasure chest or something mysterious. Yeah. Like, you know what is in a cricket bag. Yeah. It's the same crap in every single cr- cricket bag. Yeah. That's very it's, true. It's a bizarre thing. The one thing Stop I do doing. want Marnus to do, he can make up for this. I want you to give us a behind the scenes on the lunch at any of the test matches this Ashes. Yes. Yes. Give me a full spread um, rating, day one to five. Yep. I don't care if you're hungry, hungover, got out for a duck. I want a full review of the spread every day. 
That is something the yeah, punters love. Yeah, haven't, like, if you think about kids and they used to talk about lunch and you ask your, your mum and dad and stuff, what you know, what they're eating or they'll, they'll ask mm. them on the country box and they say sandwiches and what, but you actually have never seen what it looks like. like oh, you know when they go to India, right, and they get all these beautiful curries and stuff and like, you just want to see what it's like. Do they yes. go in there and just slap up their plates and they sit around tables or they just sit on, on little chairs? That is a good, that, that's a good concept. I'm not sure they're their face with curries uh, on the third day in Chennai. Oh, <laughs> Matthew Renshaw could tell you that. <laughs> now, the only one thing I was going to say to Marnus is just with those calipers, they look sharp. Just be careful with those mates if you're going to be getting in that hog pile anytime soon. <laughs> Don't want to see any accidents going on with that. Don't bring anyone else down with you. I've got one more little fine as well. Oh. Um, mm-hmm. And as a media man, this one goes to the Herald Sun. Um, just couldn't quite get my head around this um, little snippet. Um, after a special investigation at 2.03 p.m., heraldsun.com.au broke the story. Tim Payne had sent lewd text messages to a former colleague. At 2.20 p.m., we then revealed Payne was resigning. Oh I'm not sure God. you can really claim rights on exclusive on a story that's four years old, Harm, and I'll defer to your media experience there, but that feels like a bit of an overreach and worthy of uh, half a fine at least. Yep. That, for our I good mean, friends I mean, are we time. shocked? No, we shouldn't speak too disparaging because no, they are good they friends. Are partners, and we do like them, but I think they'll call a lot of people. Maybe give us a discount off our next... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go next. Uh, we'll save yours for next time. I think we're, we're, we're targeting the same person here. So we're not targeting, but mm. we're just pulling him up on a little bit of behaviour that's come to light over the last little while. Um, for the viewers at home, I think there's a little uh, piece of vision here from my Instagram story over the weekend. Essentially, Flanners uh, on one of our sets <laughs> oh. was pulled up. Uh, it's, you can see it says there's no such thing as a free lunch unless it's specifically someone else's, <laughs> in which case I'll be stealing so what it. Do you now, do? now there, was a, there was a bloke on our set, um, Peter Stockwell, who had a specific dietary requirement, lunch, uh, sitting in, in, the, in the lunch tent. And... Um, We'd all got there a little bit late. The grubs were doing a little a little piece as well. And uh, so we thought, we'll stay out of the way. Myself and Adam Hetherington and, and Tony McDuff stayed out of the way. And uh, we said, we'll have whatever's left at the end. There's a couple of less popular options, probably some vegetarian and some other ones like that. Yep. Mm. That's fine. We went with those. There was one specifically labelled <laughs> for this guy, Peter Stockwell, which was like a beautiful beef brisket and all this sort of stuff. But it, it did have some very specific dietary requirements in and around it. Mm. So he needed to have this, you know, for, for a medical condition. Ah. Um, Flanners turned up. He looked a little bit worse for it. He had a big night the night before. And uh, he comes and joins us last at the table and he's just hoeing into this lunch <laughs> that was specifically there for someone oh, else. Um, did I catch him? He didn't. I did, we haven't heard from him. I hope he's okay. No, he's uh, dead. To, to That's right. Right. The, Our lunches were get... okay, but he was getting into this with such ferocity, Hum, that I thought, gee, Flanners is really getting around this lunch. I didn't think he'd really like it. Well, it turns out it wasn't yeah, his that's lunch. Right. <laughs> that's right. It was one of the one oh, of the. Well, best. rest in peace, Pete. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> thought, thought, thoughts are with him. So, Flanners, uh, for stealing a lunch, you can cop a fine. Well, I'm going to go Flanners as well because this came across. Uh, well, cr- came across my Instagram. Now, Flanners, he's a man with a lot of time on his hands. If you go <laughs> through, if you ever just see, he just when he's meant to be working, he does this thing where, and it's actually pretty impressive. I'll give him credit. You can ask any player from pretty much any wears, sport. Who wears, yeah, who wears, who wears. He's who done wore. it here on the, on the show. Uh, it, it is pretty cool. Love that Thomas but didn't this... even watch that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see that one. <laughs> Must have missed it. Um, no, but he, so he, he's now gone. Now, we we know um, there's that other one called Cameo, Cameo which, mm. the, you know, celebrities, you go on there and you can, you know, if your friend's having a birthday and he likes Jay from the in-between as you go on there and pay Jay Baskin 50 bucks. On there. Yeah. So, you know, it's the big dog celebrities. Well, Flanners has gone on, and I don't know how legitimate this one's called. This one's called Mimo. Yes. So uh, if we just have a listen to what Flanners is uh, is offering up. G'day, guys and girls. Flanners here from the Grubs. Very excited to have just joined up with the Memo team, and I'll be keen to hear any of your requests for personalised videos. Maybe you'd like to hear about what's happening with the Grubs. Hammy, Rambo, Hummer, Slug, AJ, Tiny, Suresh, and everyone else down at East Gardens have been very busy preparing for a big summer of cricket. So if you're keen for a shout-out, let me know. Also, happy to accommodate any song requests, birthday messages, <laughs> Christmas wishes, and anything else you can think of. So book me now, and I'll try to deliver the perfect gift for you or someone else this holiday season. Stay so safe. You can log on to... Oh, sorry, it's not pronounced Memo. It's pronounced Memo. Yeah. You can log on to Memo and pay $21, and you're going to get a message from Flanners. But it does not stop there. <laughs> If you want to use a shout-out from Flanners uh-huh. in any marketing material, yep. you have to pay a figure. I think we might have it on the screen. $686.65. Yeah. Yep. What? So Did imagine that. So that's his fee. That's his fee if you want to use it in any marketing promotion. Essentially, and the, we're overpaying. <laughs> and the best part is he has put on there, if you want it rushed, 
you can pay a $39, a $39 extra fee to have this thing rush to you really quickly. I can assure you there is never a time in Flanner's life where he cannot get to this immediately <laughs> and have it in your inbox within five minutes. Well, Hummer, they say you got to spend money to make money, and I thought that you might have pulled Flanner's up on one of these particular oh, shout no. So, Flanner, uh, Hummer, kick your feet back and enjoy. G'day, Hummer. Flanner's here from the Grubs. Your mate Hammy wanted me to give you a big shout-out. He tells me you're a massive fan of the song Baby Shark. So here's a quick rendition, mate. <laughs> baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark. Hopefully you enjoyed that, mate. I'll see you on Saturday. Oh, unless you want to play the rain card. In that case, I'll see you on Friday. Cheers. So I hope you enjoyed that. Well, I hope well you played. enjoyed because you've just used that in marketing material, so you yep. owe Flanner 686 bucks. <laughs> I've already paid for it. It's already been invoiced and taken care of. And Rambo, I didn't forget about you, mate. Enjoy. Oh, here we go. G'day, Rambo. Flanner's here from the Grubs. Your mate Hammy wanted me to give you a shout-out. He tells me you're a big fan of the crazy frog and that you'd love me to do an impression of it for you. So here he goes. Ding ding Hopefully you enjoyed that, mate. I'll see you on Saturday and uh, yeah, let us know if you still need a lift. So that's when Flat. Now I will say I'm pretty annoyed because that cost a lot as we just <laughs> well, discussed. Well, you've just seen it's cost you a better part of and he didn't get bucks. 400 bucks. He didn't nail the brief. I was after more of a J from the in-between is Crazy Frog. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But anyway. That's um, how memo works. You don't get any right reply. There's yeah. no feedback loops here. That's right. And when, when, when Fun has said at the end of his little spiel there, or if you want a song or you want this, or, or, or absolutely, absolutely anything, anything yeah. you want. Uh, look, Sweet. he's, he's a man true to his word. Uh, absolutely. So if you want to look, if you want to go and get around Flanners, um, he's, he's there on memo. So um, please do. Yeah. yeah, please do. Yeah, please do. Uh, look, I, like if I want him to come move my house, help me move, do I only still have to pay the twenty-one bucks? <laughs> he said it. He's got to use it in marketing material. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we better get on to a little bit of uh, credit to the boys as well. Is there anyone you, nice. that you would like to get around as well? Well, I did just want to get around Pat. I know we brought it up, but he is just bowling just magnificent. You saw that that absolute ball that just seeds. absolute hooped from mm. almost outside the pitch. It to was, Neville. It was out of this world. So he is just bowling so he well. And, and uh, I pray. Jai Richardson. Yeah. Uh, bowling particularly well at the moment. Pray Pat O just goes, yeah, you know what? I just, I mean, I, it does make sense, but I just hope that someone gets to him and says, even if it's his attitude, his personality, fix it and then start bowling for Australia. Get the hat back in the ring. Stark sucks and we want him gone. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. Uh, <laughs> full credit to boys and girls for me. Uh, Tommy Morris gets a shout out. Thanks again, mate. That was a fantastic debut on the Grub Show. Murph Hughes, a great friend of the show, turned 60 uh, oh, wow. y- yesterday he or did. a day ago. Yep. So big shout out to Merv. Uh, is doing some great work and should be popping up pretty soon in a bit of our gear. Mm. Yes. Uh, same to happy birthday to uh, Shardy, our man behind the scenes. There's yep. a lot of the writing for the Grubs at his birthday. And also, Tazzy Cricket, get a shout out. Because I just like how they are just not yeah. giving up here and they're really trying to stick their end yep. into Cricket Australia yep. and they're standing by their man. Yep. Um, and they've made it very clear that they went through a good process and they're not particularly happy with the way that Tim Payne, Payne's been treated. No, yeah, the worst is um, Bill Laurie. That was the yeah. quote, yes. Um, and uh, there, was, there was a little bit of talk of civil war. I'm not sure it, that's <laughs> quite the right comparison. Uh, no offence to our Taswegians, uh, present company included. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, no, full no, credit totally. to the boys and girls down at Tazzy Cricket for yep. uh, having a crack yeah. and not just getting served. They are very protective of their own, uh, mm. the people at Tazzy Cricket. Yeah. So, um, yeah, good on them. I want to give a bit of credit to the boys. Now, we're going to uh, are leaving another member uh, who has resigned from the Grubs. We'll be leaving the team we're just in, leaking. in the next week or so. Uh, we've got a couple of photos of him here for those playing at home. Uh, Tom Linford, he's the me- he's uh, the off-air grub. Tom the cameraman. Oh. Tom the cameraman. He, he will be leaving um, Sportsbet uh, at the end of the well, – basically the end of the week. He's coming back to do a couple of bits of piece forth. If you keep flicking through, um, there he is there when he, he obviously was the DOP, did a great job on the Merv Hughes video a couple of years ago. And here he is in his natural habitat. This bloke loves cricket. Cricket <laughs> oh, nothing on there. The tube. On the tube. You can't get, you, this bloke, just, he just won't shut up about no, cricket, will he? he just, uh, good, no, to, I mean, good to see he didn't lose his, uh, his two Apollo. He uh, tossed the jacket about five seconds after he got on the plane. He, did. he, he did. did not come off the plane, the tour jacket. That's mm. right. After he whinged about not having one. 
one. Uh, <laughs> now, that bloke is such a cricket nuffy. He actually attended a uh, first-class warm-up match between the first and second test in England. Remember, he dragged us down That's, there. Yeah, we, he said, was dead we, he said we've there. got to go to Worcestershire. Uh, I want to tick that off the bucket list. So, Tom, we will miss you. Uh, you are going to leave us. I almost think – look, Tom's done some great work with us. I think he's probably going to save his best – piece for last and I can't mm. say exactly what it is mm. but uh, it'll be coming out in the new year probably one of the most exciting grubs projects that we've ever had a crack at uh, so keep your eye on that one but Tom uh, we will miss you of we course um, I promise we'll still wouldn't cry on the show today so we better get to this <laughs> ask grubby Tom yeah Love it. ask grubby time now I know here he is here the he man comes. himself right. the man is right. passion Mascots. holes that's it yeah, uh, is, is he a I don't know. Is he he him? Uh, we haven't had a chat with the. Uh, uh, we're yet. just going to stay out of the conversation <laughs> entirely. Uh, <laughs> Through to the keeper. Yeah, we just let that one go. Yeah, that's that's probably but why. He's a uh, he's a ripper. Absolutely. Now, um, maybe Hammer, I might give you the new ball on the questions. It should come up on the screen for you, hopefully. I hope so, because I'm going on the sheet. Uh, T Morris. How did Tommy play on how the did play on the weekend? Because you did go and play, not for the grubs. No. Yes, I did. I got caught out of uh, a little bit of uh, a sabbatical there, and I filled in for the old uh, Melbourneian. Cricket club, Old Melbourne Grammar Cricket Club. Paddy Garshagan occasionally plays oh, there. Oh, uh, yeah. The Toffs. Yeah, the Toffs, yeah. Um, played on a nice ground out at Ivanhoe. Oh, and I, oh well, <laughs> yeah. <just. laughs> yeah. Uh, better, look, like, better functioning toilet and, yeah. you know. Yeah. A nice big not a, cordial not a vessel. Deck. No, not a syntho deck. Oh, Jesus. Um, wow. Not that I really used it when I was bowling anyway. A fair few full tosses and took, yeah. took a I took a pole off a full toss and I made a <laughs> Very nice. I made a, uh, a a brave two off ten and went out trying to manipulate the field. So that's that's how, how did the, you go out? Very unlike me, I tried to take a, a spinner over the top and got bowled. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Run, stay, mate, stay in your lane, mate. Yeah, that's yeah. stay in your lane. That is Absolutely. good advice. Um, you want to take the next one? Uh, sure. Dropping funners down the order after rumours of stealing lunch. Yeah. Jacob Reid with the with the exclusive. Yeah, yeah well, I, it, tough to go lower than 11, isn't it, really, <laughs> in, in a batting order? So. Well, we, we, one spot. We, we can boot him. That's true. We kick off next Saturday and we're looking at seven at the moment. So Yeah, that's our issue. We can't yeah. ever drop someone because it, it just means maybe even forfeiting. Yeah. Well, it, after, it, after stealing Peter Stockwell's lunch, I think that's maybe something we've got to do. Interesting just, times at the moment as well is with still bringing our own spread. It is. Um, so yeah, everyone is. will have, you know, one eye on their, on their own lunch. Absolutely. Fun is around. Uh, we'll keep rolling through them. Uh, is Skip getting caught up to Skipper Australia? Bazza underscore question. field. Well, maybe Skip had a – maybe Skip knew maybe what was going on and he was getting ready to go. Um, we could do a lot worse, I reckon, um, and we do need some firm leadership. So That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean – He's, he's not quite a bowler or a batter either, so that solves that discussion that we had previously. <laughs> he's just an out-and-out. Um, out, a bit of a foot in each camp there. Out-and-out, out, Captain. Uh, two more, I think. Uh, ha, ha Gold, what's that guy, Jov something 69? Ha, ha, have him on the front. Now, so this can I, was – Who's that guy, <laughs> that, that guy, Jov something B, 69? Ha, BJ Winmar's had a few lime quarters there. Has he ever? Now, yeah. now, that was in reference, I think, to the cover that we put up um, accompanying cricket this – yeah, a company. Yeah, Cricket yep. 22. Ah, Javo. Oh, Javo. You got to keep. Javo. Yeah, sorry. You got to keep up with the gags because we actually we have done the Javo one, and, the, and there it was a couple of weeks ago. Um, uh, right. So yeah. Job. Next time, let's Dar- leave any Da Vinci Code type questions out. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's probably we might have, we might we might trim that in post. And here's the last one: Have you paid your subs yet? Should be no. a one word answer it, here. No, no. Was, there's not even a waiting there. It's just a no. All I'm on a payment plan and have we? been for six years. Absolutely, <laughs> Carol. Actually, yeah, the old Carol wanted me to have a chat yep. to you. Um, there we go. So there's our Scrubby for this week. Uh, we are going to have a quick break. It was emotional. Obviously, we, we know we farewell to Skipper. Mm. Um, one of the other great uh, cult heroes of Australian cricket, Richard Cheekwe, the front man of Brett Lee's band, Six and Out. What a man. Uh, he had a little ode to him. Oh. Here it is. Fuck. Another Saturday, you've just got off the phone. Can't find 11 blokes, AJ put out the cones Now do the toss, another loss, that's no surprise Abuse the captain, it's all good, we'll pay the fine Good luck with your retirement, you knew the end was nigh Enjoy your weekends with the social life So make the cordial and tea spread one last time 
Who's got the match ball? It's impossible to find. Just pack your kit bag, it's your last dig for now. We'll always miss you and that famous slog to cow. Good luck with your retirement. For you, the end was nigh. Enjoy your weekends with a social life. from the grubs Don't leave us high and dry and pay your bloody subs Hang up the baggy blue now skip Move on to DIY Enjoy your weekends with a social life Oh, fantastic stuff. What an inning. That, is, that has got me uh, emotional. Yeah. Uh, it is, it's upsetting times, but a beautiful – well done by Cheeks. He's still got it, hasn't he? He should get oh, the band yeah. back together. Um, That's not me, Richard Cheek. We. we should get him. I'd love to have him on. I yeah. think he gives. He would give an, an exact insight to uh, the big game from the lower levels that we'd love here. So. Absolutely. Where's he based out of? Sydney. Mm. Oh, west, in, in a west of Sydney there. We're free to travel now. Absolutely. Could he be a smoky as a, as a skipper? I don't know. Would almost Ooh, fit the bill. Something in that. Yep. Anyway, one to, one to think about. Uh, all right. Now, I want to have a quick check-in on our main man uh, all the way from Sale. Bowler's name. That was the boy. Very quick update on the dog this week. All over the shop. I don't know if you watched yeah. his run the other day. He jumped at 20 bucks. race one in Sale on Saturday. Um, very juicy prize there. Jumped clean, got the lead. Copped a bump from behind, got a bit distracted, and just stopped chasing. Just stopped. Zigzagging all over the track. Uh, that doesn't go down well That's not good. with the stewards. I had a look at it. The dog that knocked him overtook him, and then he realised he was back in a race. Came in with a wet sail, finished second. Not that bad. Uh, but the stewards have pulled him up, unfortunately, for uh, ceasing to chase. And he's now got a 28-day ban from the <laughs> sales track. How do you so, suspend a dog? It's that's not his a fault. A month. A month, 28 days. So he can still a month for coming second. He can still potentially Wait, so race he elsewhere. Got, he stopped chasing but still came second. second. Once he got back into the race and started running properly How long again. How did he stop for? Uh, well, not, clearly not enough to... Yeah, it still comes. But you have to go, go and have a check. What, what, check how can you come second and get rubbed out for twenty-eight days for not chasing? He was obviously still chasing. PC gone. I mad. think what we've found out here is again, yet again, anyone to do with the grubs when it comes down no, to the judiciary or tribunals, yeah. we get absolutely pissed on. That's we do, and we get the rough end I mean, every should... time. Yeah. Probably we get we do get hammered, but in true Grubs spirit, he he stopped chasing, which we do often, just <laughs> yeah. to get out of there quickly and get to the pub. So good on you, bowlers. Nathan. That's Bill. Yeah, he'll be back better. What's that? Three thirds in a second now. So he's due. He's actually very close. Not not, not that bad. No, nah. to be honest, no, he's not that bad. So looking looking forward to some some good results. Uh, over to you, big boy. Hypotheticals. All right, two hypotheticals and a hum amusing. Goodness me. Just a bonus. Yeah. Okay. So you, we need to fill aside the grubs. Yep. Okay. You're the, you're the skipper. You're, the, you're both the skippers. It doesn't have to be the grubs. A hypothetical cricket team. Mm. You can either pull, bring in a player that never, ever, ever drops a catch. If it's within reason, yep. like within the, the realms of human classified ability, he catches it. it. He catches it. But he cannot throw at anywhere. <laughs> he cannot throw. The only thing he can do is literally roll the ball back. Or you take a bloke that averages 40, but he cannot run between the wickets. He can only walk. So you're getting 40 from him most weeks. We're getting an average of 40. No, I'll say he, he will definitely get 40, but he can't run. <laughs> it's 40 runs in the bank. Yep, 40, 40 runs in the bank, but he can't that, walk that's between a, the wickets. 40 runs in the bank every 40, day of the week. Yeah, but you don't 40. understand, during that 40, you know, you're not getting any singles. What sort of a strike rate is he going well, you at? You might be getting singles. Yeah. You're definitely not getting any twos. What sort of a strike rate is he going at? Uh, I'll call it 100. Oh, so you, you just... It's 40 or 40. 40 yeah. and then he's out. Yeah, then but then what about... Remember when he's at the non-striker's end? Oh, well, I mean, if it's one of us, it's a yeah. <laughs> point. But yeah. A bloke that could never drop a catch 40 runs is, is, is... Generally, 20 runs can win or lose you a match. 40 runs... You're yeah. in the game already. That's right. I think probably from a purely selfish perspective, probably the, the person that um, doesn't drop the catches, just so Wouldn't that. Wouldn't that be good knowing that if as soon as the ball's there, yeah, and you just would you put him at wicketkeeper then because he can't throw? Not bad. Or first slip. Yeah, never dropping a catch. But yeah. in our grade, the the ball doesn't go. To, when no one's bowling quick enough. If you sneak someone off to the keeper, you're doing very very well. Yeah, That's and true. slip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't get any. Yeah, behind. you whack him in as the yeah keeper that couldn't drop him would be. Where would you field a player that can never drop a catch? Proper keeper. 
in our yeah. division. We don't get many caught behinds. Well, like, I don't know. If you had to rank the position where most catches are dropped yep. on, the, on the field, I reckon it's probably deep square leg. Yeah, Big on the boundary, horse, yeah. They go up and they yep. hang there for, you know, closer to eternity, come down with ice on them. Yeah. Or mid on is mid on because, because you hide your duck. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> and it always goes to him like a magnet. It does. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and you just know, and it always hits him in the chest and bounces. So play down. the percentages and put him, you know, yeah. Yeah. bowl short and put him at uh, dead square leg. Yep. 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 All yep. right, next one. Okay, you got a choice. Fine leg to fine leg all day. Mm. So, which I've worked out to be about 120 meters on a normal crew ground. Yep. So you're running 4.8 kilometres, but I was you, gonna say, I'll take it. you never have to drive to the ground. You never ever have to bring tea or buy a beer ever again. So you're, you're, you're paying for it in the field by doing fine leg to fine leg. But there's, you know how the, when you wake up morning, you're late, you're hungover, you've got to still go get tea. Yep. You've got to get drink in yeah. the car and mm. you just get late. You don't have to worry about that. That's good. That's a good one. That is good. It's I, kind of on-field admin versus off-field admin. Yeah. I think I like... Uh, the, the social interaction of the, the, the day at the, at the game. So I probably like to be in there where the action yep. is, chatting to people. Yeah. So I probably I probably cop all the other bullshit to okay. be able to do that. I'd agree. That's a that's a tough ask, finally, finally for a full day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah you, you, you're not really playing nah, the game. That in you, our team, it's all about the dross. Hate, you want to be close to tea. it. I just hate having to go get tea. If, if, you're, not, if you're not in there con- contributing to the chat, to learn the, what are we playing for? That's really? right. And if you, can hear, if you can hear people giggling and, and having a good Even time worse. over there, that's, you just feel left worst, out. That is the worst, isn't it? Yeah. That is the worst. Yeah. Right, good good yeah. hypoth- hypothetical. I've, I've got one some, more. I've got some very uh, topics that are very close to his heart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My therapist says I should stay near the, the game if possible. <laughs> um, okay, here's the question. Now, this might be a bit silly, but hear me out. <laughs> what would happen to the game, the scoring of a of an 80 over game of cricket, a 40 overs each side, if instead of a cricket ball, you used a tennis ball? Ah, um, oh, easily less runs. I, I reckon um, easily more runs, wouldn't you? Nah. So, no, you're I right. You're right. The ball doesn't travel. That, yeah, yeah. But you're never getting. I mean, you probably get a lot, a lot of guys who still get caught out. Do you reckon? Oh, you should, you harder to hit. A lot, a lot harder to hit it on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, you think about someone bowls you a juicy half volley, you play a nice straight or cover drive as we all do with perfection. <laughs> yeah, um, but, that's yeah, not the you're not even going to get one slow. for that. You've got enough yeah. time. Like bowling a tennis ball from the other end. Like I know it's different when you're playing backyard cricket when mm. the pitch is separated by three meters. Whereas if you're bowling on a normal length cricket pitch, that tennis ball is coming to you pretty slow. Yeah, and and but then you you usually hit it in the air, and the ball's in the air for longer. It's easier to catch. Yeah, but you've got enough time to steer it right. I reckon you could build. I'd love to hear. I some... reckon I'm more of a chance of making a century if a tennis ball was bowled than a cricket ball. Probably. Yeah, that's a different question. Yeah. yeah you're talking about percentages of likelihood here. Yeah. Yeah. People get jump in the comments because that's a that's a very yeah. good one. What about just to just to see your tennis ball and raise you? Um, a half taped. Well, that's what I was going to originally had, but yeah. then I thought then it would def because the half taped tennis ball. It's very difficult to hit. Well, no, but it's also quite difficult it's to hard. bowl a full length at yeah. a pitch as well. A lot of all over the place. And also yeah. I think your ball move. Like you can actually off the bat, you can get a bit more carry. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit heavier. Big question marks on how yeah. much. You, you, we probably need to set aside a full episode to explore this, this kind of one. I reckon. Let's have a bonus You've episode. You've delivered there. That's right. Bonus they're, they're, they're very, one, the music one, one was my favourite. Maybe yeah. one, one for the patron fans if we get the patron. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Yeah. What a hook to get the patron fans on board. That one. Um, all right, now we're going to move on to Shy the Stumps. Now, Shy the Stumps, this, we've had a little request coming. This is actually brought to you by Bet With Mates. Uh, yes. oh. get, get yourself a little Bet With yep. Mates group. Start your group bet together, share the moment, conditions apply, gamble responsibly, of course, with Bet With Mates. Genuinely, genuinely, just game changer product. Yeah, it is. It is, it is you, good. You just jump, it's so easy. Bang, start a group, we're in. Quaddy, so let's go. That, yeah. Out in the first league, doesn't matter. Now that we're out of lockdown, and you're not just, you know, when you're sitting at home, it was fine to be completely dedicated to your punting for the day. But now that you're out and about and you're going to Ikea and you're going to the pub and stuff, it is, it's just a bit easier knowing that everything's all set up and you can just log in and go, oh, yep. Oh, the, just, end of the day, you're not getting that, the 20 bucks that Funnels yeah. owes you or Slug. You, it's yeah. all above board now. All the 20 bucks that Tommy Morris owes you for losing. Ah, yes, well. he does owe me 20 bucks. Yeah. India won that series 3 nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully he hasn't already spent that 20 bucks on um, a uh, Flanner's um, memo. Uh, <laughs> full omelette <laughs> on get the you face one. of Tommy Morris. <laughs> um, all right, let's have a quick look, check in at last week, how he went. Maybe Rambo, you can talk us through Tommy's ones. 
Uh, yeah, Tommy Stockball got up. Victoria beat New South Wales in the Shield, I believe that was. Yeah, it wrapped points. up uh, on Yesterday. Tuesday. Uh, Shot the Shumps, New Zealand beat India. Famously uh, went uh, the wrong way, and the Renegades to beat the Thunder. Uh, so that's a cross for that one. Marcus Harris still pending. Um, good sog to out there. Very interested to see how that goes for Tommy. Yeah, I liked the way he explained that one as well. We, yeah, we did a full 180, didn't we? Um, yeah, he did. <laughs> yes, we did. Watch it around. Completely changed us. Absolutely. Yeah, Hammer? I went Victoria to beat New South Wales as well. Yeah. I went. My shot at the stump was a big multi, which is about to pay out, I think. Is Sri Lanka playing at the they moment? Are, they are, and they're looking in, pretty good. They are looking good. So that teams. should um, pay. Rain a bit. Yeah. Uh, and then one that will still take a little while because it's got till February is Snow to Fall on Mainland Australia this summer, which is paying $8.50. You probably want that to settle now, though. I don't think you're going to be getting a result in February on that one, to be honest. That's probably going to... That's true. Probably yeah. click earlier. In, in the fact, year. we've... I oh, know, we had, we, we've had it in December. December 13 was the latest we've ever had snow. Yep. In mainland Australia. Very so good. Very well, we wait with uh, bated breath on that one. Stock ball. Tim Zoo to win by a knockout and Pakistan to win. That was oh. a, that, that failed. Tim Zoo couldn't knock that guy down. He was a no, he, he just concrete. He just copped it. Um, it was in Simpson. You know, yeah, to come flying and get him out. That's right. That's right. Uh, it was a unanimous decision, but my word, he couldn't couldn't get it done. So at a dollar thirty, I think that league <laughs> went down. Stockball's Shy of the stumps. Ish Sodi to uh, be the top New Zealand wicket taker play. in the first game. He didn't play. <laughs> So there you go. <laughs> and the slog to cow, we're still waiting. Um, and he's just he's, he's recovered. He's out and about now as well, he Felix. Back. So hopefully he doesn't find himself a girlfriend between now and next year because I want him to be the next Bachelor at 151 um, bucks. Uh, Rambo, I think we might give you. Well, I mean, we're, we're all about accountability. Yeah. I, I've just got one quick bone to pick. I, you take a, I took a week off. Yeah. And um, my winning tip got up. Uh, that's right. Going back into the archives. That's right. Bit, wasn't it? I- Barbara's arm? Yeah, that's right. I think we've got a clip. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll kick off, uh, shall I? Yeah. Top run scorer. Um, I like Baba Azam from Pakistan. Absolute class bat. I think he's the captain now as well. Done. There you go. 15 got up. smackaroos. Well done. 15 well done. bucks needed. Dave wanted to do us a favour in the final. He duly obliged. Yeah. yeah. Just fell short. So that was your, that was the bet of the tournament. Well, well played, mate. Credit um, where it's Did you, you have a little, little summit on that? Um, I did. Yeah. Um, but look... Uh, to use a, uh, <laughs> I was going to use a Jules Valance term there. Um, doesn't make a difference, really. No, yeah. it did have a little, but um, it didn't yep. go far. It's a big tournament, a lot of, lot of exotics there. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, it was a long couple of weeks. The let's t- look into this week, though. Yeah, let's do uh, it. Stock ball for me. Bangladesh played Pakistan in their first test. Well, we're just going to be, we're just going to back Baba again. Yep. Baba Azam, Pakistan first innings, 275. Thank you very much. Uh, bit, bit. Not much great pickings around in the cricket game at the moment. No, Obviously, not. we're still waiting for the Ashes. Not far away. My shot this time is going to be Chelsea at the handicap. Minus oh. two to beat United. I think it's Sunday mornings, Monday morning, one of those funky times. Yeah, yeah. 5.50. Um, they're flying Chelsea. United going the exact opposite way. And Chelsea just beat Juve 3-0 this morning. So they're hot to trot. Sog to care. I'm trying to keep this one um, in a week-to-week rotation so we're not waiting That's for the true. snow to fall. That's a pending bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Flatters has still got four of his own. Yeah. Uh, India-New Zealand first test. Play of the match, Ravi Ashwin, $13. There's my three for That's, the week. That is a bet because not a, he's involved with bat and ball yep. and just never has a bad game, does he? Happy I am going... Might sip a couple of man cards. I'm changing well, a little <laughs> different. I'm going to have... I'm not doing Victoria to win the tosses. It's coming up on the screen because that has actually happened. And thankfully, <laughs> I didn't the, because they lost. But yeah. I'm going the strikers in the WBBL tonight to yep. win the toss. Yep. At dollar ninety. I think they're just due... Um, I forget the name of the skipper, but she's been calling him pretty well. Tails never fail. So I think dollar ninety Sticking there is, is, the is money for old rope. Another one which I've just realised is from that game that has started... Uh, but I did get it in before it started, so yep. I think this should count. Matthew Short, who we saw when we went down and watched uh, at the That's test huge. match. Yep. We just left a minute before he hit the biggest six you've ever seen that would have just gone right over our heads. We left a minute beforehand. Yeah. But he was just very, very impressive. So I think he's going to dominate. He waxed him. And then I'm hedging my Sri Lanka multi that's going to pay out by backing the West Indies to win the test at $54 today. $58, that is a price you cannot ignore. Now, two days to play. I think they are trailing by 170 runs. Um, but... You know what? Those big dust bowls over there. Anything, yeah. anything can happen. They got 50, some good spinners. Bucks. And, and, and I, I am hedging. Yeah. Because if if I win the Sri Lanka bet, so one of those two bets has to win. Absolutely. 
Uh, well, if it, it happened to anyone, what if there's a West draw? <laughs> what if they hang on to the draw and then yeah. all oh, of then stuff? I'm cactus, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Uh, very good punting one hundred and one here. <laughs> now, my stock ball. I'm going to uh, the Test match. I'm going India to beat New Zealand at a dollar sixty. Very very mm-hmm. short there, yep. but I just think yep. at home too hard to beat him. My shot at stumps is a multi. I'm going Babar as well into India to win. Nice. Uh, that'll get you four dollars. 42. And my slog to cow is also in the WBBL tonight. Um, Katie Mack uh, from the Adelaide Strikers got a 50 last time these two sides played. She's got the most runs in the tournament. Player of the match tonight, $12, Katie Mack. That's a price. It uh, sounds th- like you've done some SEA, some research for another cross. I did. <laughs> I did, and I've just recycled it and plugged it in. So fingers crossed. Like, Efficiency. For, 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 for the top run score in the tournament, to be 12 bucks to be Huge, player yeah. of the game. The, anyway. uh, that, they are sending them in the WBBL. It's by a the great way. watch. They yeah. It is a great watch. over the fence now. Yeah. yeah. Um, the game's come a long, long way. They, yeah. Some of them uh, are really roosting them over the boundary. So Absolutely. Getting, to, getting to the pointy end of that tournament as well. Looking forward to that one. Now, in our bet with mates group for the grubs, if we're going to take our stock balls across the board there, we've got yep. um, Baba. India to win. We've got the Heat to win the toss. And we've got yeah. Baba to win the top run scorer. So that'll get you eight dollars forty as like our multi. It. Oh, that's, so let's keep a track of that one. I reckon we're really we really got our bated breath for the toss tonight. <laughs> we'll, be out, we'll be out of it very quickly, haven't we? I'm pretty confident. It's on the not other as one. good as you should have gone the first delivery. Yeah, I or like the that. first I over didn't have runs. Yeah, yeah they're they're the you know just as exciting as the toss. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, you know quickly. You know, don't like to play with your food, do you, honey? You get in and you get out. Well, that's it, gents. Rambo, welcome. But you've done very yeah, well there. And I, I actually reckon it. we may have given that episode with Tony Morris a run for its money in terms mm. of how much cricket we actually spoke. It was a nice mix. It was a lot really of drops, but there well, was we need everyone to get on there and, and review and leave us five stars. That helps big time, doesn't it? Five stars. Get that in the uh, in the uh, Apple Podcast charts. Uh, get us right up the top there. Yep. We're trying to get into that top ten before we have a little bit of a break. Put the feet up for a few weeks and, mm. and crunch it through the new year. But that's it. Grab up. Get response. We'll see you next week. Yeah, we're the grubs. Grubs, grubs, grubs. Kick them over. We'll hit the pubs. Grubs, grubs, grubs. And don't forget your subs.